The key here, the strategy, is to get the bus moving as quickly as you can right out of the gate. Heliuskovsky, as strong as he is, is leaning forward and he's losing his footing already a little bit there as we see another bobble. He had two bobbles already, one right off the bat. Now that happens from time to time with guys, but that second one certainly cost him. The key here is to have smooth, rhythmic pulls on the rope. You see him starting to die down here towards the end of the course. He's fighting himself. You need a field sobriety test with him right now. <laughs> time to beat 45-68, and it looks like he's gonna get it done. Mateusz Kieliuszkowski with a honk of the horn, 38.51. He came into the event tied for third overall in the group. That puts him into the lead here in the bus pull. Making his Mateusz second world strongest man appearance. He's so strong, power is not a problem with him, but you think because of his youth, you see that little bobble there. It's clear that his technique just isn't what it needs to be in this event, and it costs him there, even though he finished with a nice time. Eddie Hall, known as the Beast, one of the greatest power lifters in the world. We'll see how he pulls this bus. So impressed with the way Eddie got that bus moving past its initial inertia. It was stopped. But look at his rhythm. Look at his base, his arms and legs in sync. He's like a little pit bull in low gear pulling this bus down the course. And the breathing seems to be in sync as well. That's an important piece. Initially, it's strength, but the cardiovascular conditioning really takes its toll here. But Eddie seems to be in pretty good shape and may beat Kilius Koski if he can keep this up. I think he's going to do it, Aaron. He's at 34.76. And indeed, the four-time Britain's strongest man goes into the lead in this event. Representing Great Britain, Eddie Hall. Just an impressive performance by the big man from Great Britain. He showed why this is a big man's event. He's really refined his technique. You see those big arms and legs and that determination. His head down driving got it done. We'll see if that extra weight helps him. This is a big man's event, but I think for Von Staden, conditioning is going to be his limiting factor towards the end. Again, from South Africa, and so he's one of the fan favorites here as it neighbors this country of Botswana. <laughs> <laughs> They're chanting, neighbor, neighbor, neighbor. They love him. You see Von Staden there getting a little bit tired, starting to stand up a little bit. His technique is starting to slip here. And I wonder if that cardiovascular conditioning starting to show up. Boom, and right there he pulls up, maybe injuring that left leg. He does look like he's in pain. Aaron, indeed, that left leg just suddenly, he called it quits in the middle of the course. He goes into six, only pulling 18.28, but obviously there's a bigger story at hand. Yeah, and that bigger story is that after a very fast start, Von Staden may be struggling to finish strong here if that injury proves to be too much to continue. 